சுப்ரீம் கோர்ட் நீதிபதி ராமசூரணி மையா அவர்கள் அற்புதமான ஒரு உரையாற்றினார் அம்பேத்கர் சட்டக் கல்லூரியில் எப்படி அரவிந்த் பாண்டியன் சக்ஸஸ்ஃபுல் லாயரானார் எப்படி டேக்ஸ் லாயர் வெற்றி பெறுவது என்று ஒரு இன்ட்ரெஸ்டிங்கான சப்ஜெக்டை டேக்ஸை பற்றியும் அற்புதமாக பேசினா அதை கேட்கலாம் ஜஸ்டிஸ் ரமேஷ் ஜஸ்டிஸ் சுவாமிநாதன் தி ஹானரபிள் வைஸ் சான்சலர் தி லா செக்ரட்டரி த டீன் தி டிரெக்டர் தி ஸ்டேட் ஜுடிஷியல் அகாடமி தி இன்கம் டேக்ஸ் அப்பலட் ட்ரைபுனல் மெம்பர் தி ஃபேமிலி ஆஃப் லேட் ஸ்ரீ கே ஆர் ரமாமணி டியர் ப்ரொஃபஸர்ஸ் ஆஃப் லா my dear students mr ranjit ibrahim when he offered the felicitation he said i was very particular that the meeting should be over within a short span of time and everybody started repeating it with a with the only difference that none of them looked into the watch actually i did not want the meeting to be finished early all that i wanted and all that i always want is that any meeting should start on time and should end on time do you know why as a student like you i have suffered many speakers who never stopped who never looked into the watch and some of them did not even look into the calendar so it used to go on and down in fact we used to share a joke in uh, patiman rooms one speaker started speaking half an hour went 45 minutes one hour the man sitting in the front he showed his watch the speaker thought that he wanted to give the watch to him so he became very enthusiastic and he continued this talk then after some time one man showed the calendar this man thought that there is going to be another compliment then one student like anku swami of dr swami of his lineage he took out a revolver and kept it on the table then the speaker stopped the man who took out the revolver ultimately it worked the man who took out the revolver said sir please don't be afraid this is not to shoot you this is to shoot the person who invited you so the difficulty of our society in organizing meetings is that we don't start the meetings on time we don't end the meetings on time but i am very happy that i came exactly at 459 and within 2 3 minutes we started the meeting therefore what begins well ends well this is the message and it always happens that in moot court competitions till the valedictory address is over they don't declare the results <laughs> it is not with the intention of keeping it suspense but with the intention of keeping the audience intact so it is part of the conspiracy of the organizers that the results are not declared until you hear the chief guest lecture that is probably the only consolation offered to the chief guest that the audience the students will not go away they are captive audience and all the doors are locked mr vikram he is the chief of the old block he is the grandson of uh, late sri k k r k r ramamani he comes from a great lineage grandfather was known to be the parkival of uh, south india his mother was uh, the retired member of the income tax appellate tribunal i think she retired vice president member father is a lawyer and vikram is a very prolific speaker but today because of ranjit abraham's warning i think he uh, spoke very few minutes and he said something very interesting he said uh, 
we started this moot court online even before the pandemic broke and my contribution was minimal i only said the problem is it i thought how can he claim that his contribution was minimal he was the most problematic man because he said the problem that was good enough and look at uh, mr arvind pandian arvind pandian also belongs to that chamber why arvind pandian is a successful lawyer is that if a judge wants to go home early he finishes his arguments within 10 minutes so he reads the judges much more than the papers what a lawyer should do one of the advices given to a young lawyer by senior lawyers is that read the judge much more than you read the papers therefore when state judicial academy asked me how to be a successful judge i used to tell them don't allow any lawyer to read your mind so that you decide the case only on the basis of merit not on the basis of what they are able to manipulate on your mind your vice chancellor recognized the fact that now this is the 12th year is it not 12th moot and i am here for the fourth or fifth time and in his enthusiasm your vice chancellor said i should come for another 20 times sir but uh, in which case my age of retirement should be 85 years otherwise i can't come for 20 times i can come possibly one more year because i'll be retiring in june 2023 and no lawyer is in the habit of inviting a retired judge so far so 20 times it's not possible for me to come just as your son nadan narrated to me this uh, story of his uh, junior albu sami but he stopped short he only narrated you the story up to the interval in any film what is more interesting is after interval because the climax comes later what happened was but that's a story which i think all of you should also know how events can change your life how your perspectives can change how bad things can bring good things to you and how good what you perceive as good things can bring bad things to you these are some of the uh, nuances of life which we don't really understand and appreciate when jr somnathan came to my chamber he said i have sent him out i told him that you should not have done that because the only hold i have i had on him is through you otherwise nobody knows who this angus swami is so i sent word next day there was a huge gathering of lawyers about 50 60 lawyers outside my chamber they did not want to meet me but they were deliberating on what course of action to be taken when i came to know about this i told my staff to stay in the chamber i removed my coat and gown i was looking like a lawyer i was white pant white shirt i barged into the crowd directly and asked them what is your problem they realized that the judge has come there and no more lord that you are not chip we will we will talk to the registrar i told the students i i told the lawyers that why should you talk to the registrar if registrar can solve your problem i can also solve your problem but the problem which your registrar cannot solve i can only solve therefore talk to me then they said no no there is a lot of problems in the registry i asked who is that angusami i want to see him then one young fellow said my lord i am angusami i asked do you think you are a very brave man you have taken the knife to the section you are a lawyer who you have threatened he is only a clerk working in the court who is definitely in terms of hierarchy lower than you a person who is brave enough should be able to take out the knife against the person who is holding higher authority not to a person who is below you 
Therefore, you are not a brave man. If you are a brave man, you should have brought the knife to my chamber. I would not have prevented anything. He didn't know how to reply, respond to it. He said, my lord, the clerk in the section insulted me, humiliated me. I did not have sleep yesterday. I was put to shame, he said. I said, oh, you are put to shame. Therefore, it hurt you. Now I curse you. No, rather I curse you to become a judge. So many people will abuse you. You will have to put up with all this. Social media, news print, everywhere you will be. The moment the person loses a case. A judge's job is somewhat difficult from, uh, different from other jobs. There are two parties to litigation. The losing party always goes dissatisfied. Because he thinks he has got a good case and judge did not understand it. Therefore, we are catering to consumers, 50% of whom are definitely dissatisfied with what you do. Therefore, they abuse you. I said you should become a judge. Then you will rise above all these petty things, shame, fame, name. You will rise all above all these things. I told him. Somebody said, one of the, one of the lawyers said, my Lord, there is corruption in the registry. I said, I will not remove corruption. He was shocked. He just said, I said, corruption can be removed if every one of you act according to law. You want your cases numbered. You file your cases, don't come to the registry. I will ensure that all cases are numbered in the serial order in which they are filed. You want judgment copies to be issued. I will ensure that all judgment copies are issued in the serial order, in the chronological order in which the judgments were delivered. Are you prepared? I asked them. They said, no, no, Milan, there are some urgent cases which have to be numbered out of turn. There are some urgent order copies which have to be issued out of turn. I said, this is our problem. Even if we go to a temple, we don't want to stand in the Dharma Darshan queue. We want to pay ticket, stand in a shortcut queue. Or you want to be a VIP like a judge who can cut all the queues and go in front. We have cultivated the habit of not waiting for anything, not waiting for our turn. Just look at our own lives. How many of us are patient enough to wait for our turn in life to get something? No, we are not prepared to wait for our turn. We want to cut short the queue if it is possible. We believe in shortcuts. I told them. So long as you believe in shortcuts, corruption can never be eliminated. And you can't really avoid shortcuts in life because you think other people are doing it. Unfortunately, the human tendency is to follow bad people than to follow good people. Just look at this. How many, the, how, the names of how many good people you remember for how long? Suppose there is a very bad element in your class. After 30 years, when you go back to your college, you used to remember, oh, we used to have a person. Not like G.R. Swaminathan remembering Lalita. Uh, for some strange reason, G.R. Swaminathan, did, just as G.R. Swaminathan did not remember the name of any of his classmates except Lalita. It's all right. See, sometimes we become obsessed while we are in college. While we are in college, we obsessed with something or somebody. It doesn't matter. But my, my point is, I, I ask you a simple question. How many people remember Hitler for how long? The ability of that people to stay in the most number of people for the longest duration of time, he is so huge. Therefore, the darker side of every human being is longer, larger than the brighter side of every human being. How do we manage to improve our brighter side is where the test actually comes. My dear students, I don't believe in giving advices. Because I think people should learn. I tell parents, when I speak to parents, I tell them, don't, you don't think that your children will do what you tell them. 
but your children will do what you do. They will be what you tell. Suppose I tell my son not to smoke, he will not listen to me unless I have been a non-smoker. Therefore, what you want children to do, you must lead by example and not lead by lectures. So I don't want to give you a lecture as to how to be a successful lawyer. In fact, every parent, every teacher, the, today's irony is that all of us tell our children to be successful. We don't, we want them to be successful human beings. We don't tell them to be human beings first and then come to success later. We don't do that. The most unfortunate thing, we want good lawyers, we want good doctors, we want good bureaucrats, we want good uh, uh, administrators, we want good judges, we don't want good human beings. Unless you have good human beings, how are you going to have all of them? You can have successful human beings is different from a good human being. Being human itself has become problematic these days. I am happy to learn that 26 teams across the country had participated in tax problem. Justice G.R. Swaminathan made a confession that you are not a tax lawyer and he did not. Uh, I was also not a tax lawyer. In fact, uh, uh, when, when I started doing income tax cases as a judge of the High Court, I had a very interesting experience. One lawyer who was a good lawyer was also a good friend of mine who used to take liberties with me in passing comments alone, not in getting orders. When I said I don't understand income tax, he said that, my lord, only people who had income understand income tax. I agreed with him because it was a true statement. I never had income and therefore I never understood income tax is what I used to say. But the problem with income tax is not, uh, tax is not something very new as Mr. Vikram pointed out. We have had problems of taxation from the third century. In fact, there was a poem and uh, whose authorship is not known. The, 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 uh, definitely the author of the poem must have suffered taxes uh, so hugely. And he said that the poem goes as follows. Tax is land. Tax is wage. Tax is bed in which he lays. Tax is tractor. Tax is mule. Teach him tax is the rule. Tax is cow. Tax is goat, tax is pants, tax is coat, tax is ties, tax is shirts, tax is work, tax is dirt, even tax is dirt, tax is stew, tax is smoke, teach him taxes are no joke, tax is car, tax is grass, tax the roads he must pass, tax is food. Tax is drink. Tax him if he tries to think. Tax is sodas. Tax is beers. If he cries, tax is tears. Tax is bills. Tax is gas. Tax is notes. Tax is cash. Tax him good and let him know that after taxes, he has no doubt. If he hollers, Tax him more. Tax him un until he is good and sore. Tax his coffin. Tax his grave. Tax the sword in which he lays. Put these words upon his tomb. The poem goes, put these words upon his tomb. Taxes drove me to my doom. And when he is gone, we won't relax. We will still be after the inheritance tax. That is how the problem is. Therefore, taxes have always created problems. In fact, in one of the, um, the historical perspectives of taxation laws, there is a very interesting reference. Once upon a time, there was a haircut tax. Yes, haircut tax. I don't know. That's why the, the students these days, I think they very rarely cut their... Uh, <laughs> Uh, despite the fact that there is no haircut tax. So, if 26 teams have 
participated across the country that's really a good sign that people have started taking interest in a very very nuanced subject what is good about taxation is that common sense is enough for you to resolve most of the legal disputes in civil criminal and all other branches of law but unless you have something higher than common sense and unless you have an out of the box thinking it is impossible to be a good tax lawyer and that is what law more difficult for ordinary people to reach and i should tell you the competition in the field of tax law is kept to the minimum therefore if you enter if you start practicing tax law you will be entering a field where you face very less competition than the fields where you face most competition therefore if some of you can choose to be a tax lawyer be a good human being and also become a successful tax lawyer that would have served the purpose of such moot court competitions so i wish the losing teams better luck next time winning team a continuous problem i have three principles students who never participate in moot courts students who participate and don't succeed students who participate and succeed students who participate and succeed participate and succeed in moot courts join law firms students who participate and lose they become fairly successful lawyers students who don't participate at all become judges i wish you all the best thank you for your edited address your lordship nandri ayya ramasamuri ayya avargalukku arpadamana ungalude uraiye ketruvadharku நன்றி வணக்கம் உங்கள் சேகரிப்போட்டேன்